Yes, greetings. Just to say that within a week from now, next Saturday, Fasimba will be at the True One in Baltimore. Dub Roots Session. From 8 p.m. until midnight. We're going through the heaviest, the nicest dub roots of the moment, strictly for Simba style. So here we're giving you a little sample during a short amount of time, just to remind you that we're there. And we ain't going nowhere. The original top wow, we are African style. If you're in the vicinity, if you're a top roots lover, and if you think that you know about it, come check out the latest unreleased top plates around the world. <laughs> yeah, upper current style, you know. 2030 style. Strictly music running now. that unannounced people are tuning in it's good thank you for those tuning in and I can assure you the quality and the uniqueness meaning unique 
selection and one of INI trademark unlimited selection top liberation mixes track tune message so just buckle up the African conductor going to take a short quick journey musically speaking journey trust the process in the journey it's a mental journey you know so buckle up here we go Just roots. Always good to hear you and see you. Twenty thirty the plate. No 
knowing that it, we are in 2024. Sound from the future. Bendigo, I and I, good brother, Ahmed Diallo, and Sly. A Bendigo is the good label and you all need to check. Check him. A Bendigo style. Head up to Senegal. New destiny, far whatever. Backward, no more. <laughs> Greetings to Valdemir. Osmaya. Fine glass, live in the city, you mind your own business, still you got some people with their spine glass, they want to know about Rasta business, <laughs> so what we do then, we move to the country, what we see we don't see, we keep to ourselves, still, Fine glass, they want to know Rasta business. You know them, right? The Susu, Godship. They want to know I and I business. You stay clean, you keep to yourself, you stay by yourself. You move to the country far away, you don't get involved in nonsense. You don't get involved in their crime. Still, spotting glass. They want to know Rasta business. You see this here, what I'm doing? This is Rasta business. Public business. Open to all to have the open eye. Message music. Lion music. Liberation lioness style. Respect, dignity, clean hands style. Rasta business. This is the Rasta business I and I deal with. Spine glass, special dub plate. You remember the rhythm? Check it. the country, you live in the city, you mind your own business, but still with them spotting glass, they want to know, Rasta business. What you see, you don't see. Still, they want to know. I and I business. We live in their city with no pity. What we don't see, we don't see. 
we stay to ourselves. We don't get involved in their gimmick nonsense. Deal with that fine glass. They want to know I and I business. Play no gimmick nonsense. Hello to the producers, to the mixers, to the creation behind them tunes. Them African style, you know. Them all talk about them Afro beats. I and I talking about liberation beats. on fire that's what it is to be wet with fire how can you be wet with fire and how can you be dry with water if you can understand the message to be wet with fire and to be dry with water then you understand where this coming from strictly african mystical style us to play I, I and I music and when I and I play I music we don't feel no pain so when we say hit me with Jaja music we mad at them we armor you we hit you with them liberation beat only Jah know Prophet rise again, you know? Listen to the rhythm them. Roots prophet rise again. The prophet rise again. No more sipping in bed. Urging one and one to wake up. Don't be missing the moment. Original revolution time now. Universal liberation by now, you know? New chapter, new beginning. 
the African youth have answered to the call of liberation. No more stupid, worthless Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent, Pierre Cardin, all them little bling bling nonsense. Thinking about the future with true assets, real wealth, real, real, real happiness, togetherness. No bling bling, no more. No fantasy can take it anymore. Strictly happiness based on reality and unity and dignity and respect. The youth, they cannot be fooled, brainwashed, indoctrinated, dashed away, stomped on, beat up. Rejected, manipulated. Yeah, African youth, take your righteous position again. I hear echoes calling, instructing me to awaken the souls of ancestors and bring them back to life, to walk on city pavements, to energize concrete avenues. I feel like a conduit of those that have gone before. They find expression in the rhythms of Ngoma, Mbira and Kora. In this age, we, their children, inherit centuries and legacies of rebellion, riots, and rage. We were chosen to be convention breakers, to be creators and imagination wakers. The Babylon system can never take us, can never erase us. The beautiful African ones, finally born. Reincarnations of our grandmothers and forefathers. Our heritage and history are the ammunition we use to defend, to contend for the sake of future seeds. Who are we? The feet walking on African streets. We are where spirit and mind have chosen to meet. We break dance to the rhythm of our own heartbeats and bomb the city in graffiti hieroglyphs. The lives we live are cosmic. Our victory consistently defies logic because we never conform to the laws of nature. But we rise higher and higher in stature for we are one and the same with the souls of the ancestors. I hear echoes calling. Instructing me to awaken.
the souls of ancestors and bring the I hear echoes calling, instructing me to awaken the souls of ancestors and bring them back to life, to walk on city pavements, to energize concrete avenues. I feel like a conduit of those that have gone before. They find expression in the rhythms of Ngoma, Mbira and Kora. In this age, we, their children, inherit centuries and legacies of rebellion, riots, and rage. We were chosen to be convention breakers, to be creators and imagination wakers. The Babylon system can never take us, can never erase us. The beautiful African ones finally born reincarnations of our grandmothers and forefathers. Our heritage and history are the ammunition we use to defend, to contend for the sake of future seeds. Who are we? The feet walking on African streets. We are where spirit and mind have chosen to meet. We break dance to the rhythm of our own heartbeats and bomb the city in graffiti hieroglyphs. The lives we live are cosmic. Our victory consistently defies logic because we never conform to the laws of nature. But we rise higher and higher in stature for we are one and the same with the souls of the ancestors. We are what we are. The divinity of the universe thus far, far. Sister, Da Silva, Wa Mama, respect. Long time coming. Welcome home back. From my true nature, I was young, gifted, dark-skinned, trying to make poems about being a black queen, but struggling to find myself in magazines, TV screens. This realization broke my self-esteem, made me feel like I was on the losing team. Like my skin eclipsed all the gifts I carried within I lost my knowledge of self Cause other people's perceptions were defining my worth Eurocentric beauty standards poisoned my mental health I was crying out for help 
I was desperate for some Grace Jones confidence, that Alec Weck runway presence, authentic self-acceptance, to know that bleaching was not the answer, colorism was the cancer, disconnecting me from my true nature. So I gave myself a lecture, looked in the mirror and told myself to stop being a hater. I was young, gifted, dark-skinned, trying to make poems about being a black queen, but struggling to find myself in magazines, TV screens. This realization broke my self-esteem, made me feel like I was on the losing team, like my skin eclipsed all the gifts I carried within. I lost my knowledge of self, cause other people's perceptions were defining my worth. Eurocentric beauty standards poisoned my mental health. I was crying out for help. I was desperate for some Grace Jones confidence, that Alec Weck runway presence, authentic self-acceptance, to know that bleaching was not the answer, colorism was the cancer, disconnecting me from my true nature. So I gave myself a lecture, looked in the mirror and told myself to stop being a hater. Beauty is found in every shape and complexion. As an African sister, loving myself is the real revolution. The words my younger self needed to hear. Embrace your inner and outer beyond any fear. The words the woman in me needed to hear. You were born majestic. Make the self-hate disappear. This Yes, be lie. Mock. Lion salute. African rootsman style. Lioness vibe. Them kind of message, I and I daughters, caught up in Eurocentric standard of miseducation. Must be exposed. But guess what? No wonder you don't hear we on the airwave. We ain't playing that nonsense game. Those who got here to hear. Strictly liberation time, never stop, on and on and on, and it don't stop. Mad selection of it. I know universe, red, gold and green.
this is for the teenage me thinking i was ugly looking back now it's kind of funny that because my nose was broad and my hair kinky this meant i could never be pretty because in my eyes only fair was lovely even though my features were holy if i could go back in time i would tell her i'm sorry for letting colonial beliefs dictate my story but then i had a moment of catharsis liberation from judging myself by racist optics no more hypnosis fully conscious of the fact that every part of me is gorgeous the feelings of shame are gone i'm keeping focused on my legacy i see through the hypocrisy This is this for is the teenage me, thinking I was ugly. Looking back now, it's kind of funny that because my nose was broad and my hair kinky, this meant I could never be pretty because in my eyes, only fair was lovely, even though my features were holy. If I could go back in time, I would tell her I'm sorry for letting colonial beliefs dictate my story. But then I had a moment of catharsis liberation from judging myself by racist optics no more hypnosis fully conscious of the fact that every part of me is gorgeous the feelings of shame are gone i'm keeping focused on my legacy i see through the hypocrisy teaching us to think our value is skin deep but that's a fallacy the time has come to let go of the baggage to make use of our voice to speak an empowering language we have a duty to center our beauty this is for the teenage me thinking i was ugly looking back now it's kind of funny because my nose was broad and my hair kinky this meant i could never be pretty because in my eyes only fair was lovely even though my features were holy if i could go back in time i would tell her i'm sorry for letting colonial beliefs dictate my story but then i had a moment of catharsis liberation from judging myself by racist optics no more hypnosis fully conscious of the fact that every part of me is gorgeous the feelings of shame are gone i'm keeping focused on my legacy i see through the hypocrisy teaching us to think our value is skin deep but that's a fallacy the time has come to let go of the baggage to make use of our voice to speak an empowering language we have a duty to center our beauty the words my younger self needed to hear in
this invocation to the guardians of the African nation to awaken a generation overtaken by situations not of their making contemplating the reality of an equal society they drink mixtures to escape sobriety social media connectivity is the new community for youth disconnected from their roots from inner truth the ancient voice has gone mute pan-africanism has died consumerism thrives globalization controls our minds the elites rule our lives the reality of our times is a post-colonial demise prosperity preachers the new missionaries colonizing us spiritually brainwashing us religiously welcome to africa in the 21st century Strictly African liberation message. You never saw us coming. Generation after generation, we ought to be quiet, manipulated, brainwashed, while people getting filthy rich on our back. We forced to be in exile. We forced to remain silent. Where do you get that? It's a dreamland, we don't. We're living in reality. We get our nation, our continent back, no matter what, the sacrifice, no matter the effort, no matter what it takes, the African nation will be back. Whether we see it or not, it's irrelevant. But we will get it back. I promise, never fail us. Burdens we carry are nothing to the gigantic spirits that we are. They forget that we are supreme beings of existence, greater than the spaces and times that seek to confine us, more divine than their unholy version of God. A white man who can never reflect our dark matter. We are creators of civilizations. We have built nations with our wombs. What they take from us, we fight to restore. We have never hidden from battle. Our blood is familiar with war. We are monuments of resilience. We are shrines of lived experience. We make pilgrimage to ourselves because nothing can be holier than our black skin. Divinity can be found in the bodies. The cultural message cannot be separated. The burdens we carry are nothing to the gigantic spirits that we are. They forget that we are supreme beings of existence, greater than the spaces and times that seek to confine us, more divine than their unholy version of God. A white man who can never reflect our dark matter. We are creators of civilizations. We have built nations with our wombs. What they take from us, we fight to restore. We have never hidden from battle. Our blood is familiar with war. We are monuments of resilience. We are shrines of lived experience. We make pilgrimage to ourselves because nothing can be holier than our black skin. Divinity can be found 
in the bodies of the masses. Yes, this is what for Simba been all about for the last 20 years. Actually, even more. Started all this in 1986. Unbeknown to most people who don't even understand the power and the message that we carry. Everything is not for everyone. For those who know, for those who are privileged to witness it. Wadada. Until next time, know that next week we'll be at True Wine doing a session live and direct. So until we come up to your city, until you invite us, take heed and wadada and respect. And let's celebrate Senegal victory. It's our victory. We've been working hard for moments like this to enjoy, to witness, to celebrate. So what are down until next time?